KLB is known as one of the leading players in the education sector. Uh, ours is to ensure that uh, quality materials uh, are churned out year in, year out for both primary and secondary uh, education and we've also branched out to the tertiary sector. Kenya Literature Bureau is synonymous with knowledge transfer to generations of Kenyans who have read their books. But there is more to their story. As you may be aware, we are the only publishing house in the country, in fact in the region, that has a printing press. And this printing press has been um, offering printing services to other government institutions, to county governments, and to private sector organizations in Kenya and in the region. We undertake uh, quality control in every section of production or in every operation of production. Right from pre-press, we control uh, the output of our plates. We control every printing sheet. So uh, we have a quality assurance team who basically undertake quality control in every stage of our operation to ensure the end product meets the specifications and the requirements of our, our printed produced book. I can classify our products and the services into at least three categories. One, we have got the, the product which are book products. Basically we have got textbooks which are for pre-primary, primary and the secondary. Then we have got another segment of books which is called general readings. General readings are basically the biographies, then the, the storybooks which we do for general readings, and the other materials which are meant for reading, that's what we call them general reading, which are not textbooks. Again, another category of books we have is actually technical books for tertiary institutions. The other products we have is printing solutions. What I, can I call printing solutions? Non-textbook, we print non textbook materials, especially the ones which are involved for learning, for example, textbooks. We print them. Again, we print all sorts of prints, print work, stationaries, corporate stationaries, we print reports for state corporations and other uh, corporations. KLB has contributed immensely to the Kenyan society on the front of education because I, and I, I want to believe that uh, most of the people who are even leading uh, now and even who are, who are in leadership positions, they have gone through KLB books because they have actually been transformed using the KLB learning and teaching uh, materials. KLB has been very instrumental in uh, providing quality curriculum support materials so that uh, after the curriculum is developed, then you give tools that uh, will interpret that curriculum so that you can develop competencies and skills. KLB as a publishing house actually commands nearly 70% of the Kenyan market in terms of publishing. So we churn so many books for children. In the process, we are naturally uh, people who can read. Emerging from a, a culture where the print book was the main preference for the customer. But due to improving technologies, innovations, we are now taking on board the uh, e-books. We've got uh, our books which are in print form which we have converted into e-format. The physical books that we have in the market we have managed to change most of them to e-pubs and right now we are working on the CBC books, the books for the new curriculum to change them to e-books. The KLB mandate uh, revolves around uh, the whole issue of uh, publishing and printing in support of the sector's agenda, the education sector's agenda. The Bureau's philosophy, borrowing from its mandate, is actually to be able to provide support to the Ministry of Education in terms of the publishing and printing that we do. We also have an additional mandate in terms of a societal responsibility so that we can be able to contribute to a more literate society. It has been a long walk for the Bureau since its inception in 1947. It is older than our Republic and uh, giant as it looks like here, it has a whole story of what education 
has been in Kenya. Kenya Literature Bureau started as East African Literature Bureau. It was established in 1947 by the then British colonial government and it was called the East Africa uh, Literature Bureau because it included the three countries, Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania. Until 1977, uh, when the East African community broke up, that's when each government now took over uh, the activities of the Bureau. And uh, KLB became a department of the ministry between 1977 to 1980. Now, 1980, it was uh, in, through an act of parliament, CAP 209, it was now created as a parastate. After being transformed to Kenya Literature Bureau in 1980, it moved its operation from community to its current headquarters in South Sea. Tasked with that objective, Kenya Literature Bureau has been at the forefront of major developments, thereby making a mark in the industry. KLB, I think, has been in the forefront yeah, it's among the pioneers uh, in as far as uh, uh, electronic books, that area of electronic books is concerned. We started around 2010, and the idea was to make available some content which is in books, but uh, people can access that content using current technology to browse or read, whatever, without uh, physical to buy the book itself. A shift towards production of instructional material started in 1985, with Kenya Literature Bureau playing a major role in the publishing of for the new curriculum under the then KIE. KLB is known as uh, one of the best publishers in terms of publishing high-quality books with relevant content. And this has not gone unnoticed, as Kenya Literature Bureau has had a multi-generational impact on the Kenyan people, Kenyan businesses and Kenyan culture through their publications. KLB umekuwa mzuri, umekuwa kitu support, wanatuuzia vitabu kwa bei mzuri, alafu pia service zao ziko sawa. Kenya Literature Bureau's work in education is said to continue with the nascent competence-based curriculum CBC. We need to align everything to the new curriculum, which uh, is being spearheaded by the Minister of Education. And as KLB have come in very handy to ensure that one, we produce materials. Uh, which will be used by our learners, which are aligned to the curriculum designs as provided by KICD. KLB has come in very strongly in producing and developing those materials from PP1 all the way to grade 5. I started uh, writing the 844 materials and uh, as the curriculum has changed, now developing the materials has also changed. Once you look at uh, the material, which is the curriculum design and the level of the learner, you are able to understand the concepts and uh, develop the concepts, putting in mind the level of the learner. In the same spirit, Kenya Literature Bureau has come up with a strategic plan that aims to guide its operations for the next four years. For us to have the agility and flexibility to adjust to the operating environment brought about by the dynamics uh, within the sector, we had to come up with the plan, uh, which has uh, four main strategic pillars. And the plan uh, is intended to drive our performance uh, for the next uh, five years and ensure that one, uh, we build what we call financial resilience. We also build commercial resilience, operational resilience, and um, people resilience. Through this SP, we want to widen that product portfolio so that we also involve ourselves in what we call printing requirements of all our customers. So we are championing ourselves as the publisher and printer of choice, not only in Kenya, but also in the region. We are coming up with a plan to develop young and budding authors, how to convert our young boys and girls who have the talents to write into serious authors for this country and for the world in the future. In terms of the requirements of the strategic plan, we have uh, set ourselves to ensure not only are we meeting the internal uh, requirements for our books, we also meet the quality requirements for the products, as well as continuously modernizing our production line to make sure we achieve all the desired uh, requirements or outcomes in our strategic plan. We have uh, tailored our strategic plan in a way to understand the industry in terms of 
in the change of the education system, keeping in mind that 80% of our revenue will come from learning materials. So we make sure that we have put in place a strategic plan to enable us to understand or to, to take us to the next level in the next five years in line with the change of education uh, system in the country. We put a lot of efforts in the generation of revenues, in the generation of incomes. We do all our strategies knowing that the government will not come in and provide us exchequer funds. And from there we manage our operational expenses so that uh, even as uh, we are generating, we generate more with little. In the development of our strategic plan, we have factored in adequate contingency measures to ensure in fact that we will be able to have business continuity irrespective of the challenges that might be brought about by such developments including the COVID-19 like pandemics. Uh, so many challenges of course uh, hurdles and um, incidents of, of uh, what we call book piracy here and there they happen where our, our books are reproduced by some of the uh, other school plus players uh, operating in the black market and that uh, alone takes away our ad and revenue. Technology is changing very fast. Uh, the machineries we do uh, uh, purchase, they don't stay longer because of the challenges in terms of technology which is changing rapidly. 100% of the low materials are imported. So with the importation cost, tends to be very high. There are usually a lot of trade barriers that uh, sometimes comes in and uh, sometimes they make the markets that uh, you are dealing with not very attractive. Kenyans read in culture. Most Kenyans read when there is an exam. I do the same, by the way. I don't know why, but I find myself reading when I have an exam or have an, an interview like this one. Yeah, but uh, what you call recreational reading uh, is not uh, within uh, the hearts of many citizens. Publishing and printing is Kenya Literature Bureau's business, and business has been booming, experiencing growth over the last performance period. Been able to reach out to the international market, and this was made available because of uh, the high quality materials we produce. So as we are talking now, we have customers in Rwanda and Uganda who uh, continue to patronize our products. We have done even clients as far as China. So all the books that we print, we actually ship them to those countries. And uh, we establish also our agents who can receive those books in those countries so that now they can be forwarded to the, to the client. We do a lot of work now for government ministries, departments and agencies particularly strategic plans. We also do jobs for county governments. LB has done extremely well, and has over the years had the highest number of approvals in terms of quality and price uh, by the government. All the subjects in secondary nearly, KLB commands the market. Uh, tertiary uh, training, that is TWET. We do a lot of uh, subjects that enhance technical training. Now that the government has focused on that sector. We are now supporting by providing the learning materials to enhance uh, teaching and learning in that uh, category. To retain our competitive edge in this industry and to be a market leader, KLP over the past years has made sure that we have actually uh, recruited uh, top quality uh, others. Again, KLP has invested a lot on qualified staff, especially our editorial team our art, our designers, our illustrators, and our proofreaders. For us to, to remain competitive, we have invested a lot on areas of technology in terms of modernizing our printing place. I have been in Form 3, KLB, Biology, Agriculture, Kiswahili. I have been in the past and I have been in the past. KLB is in the past and I have KICD. Dio maana nikaamua kuzinunua maana the content zile content ziko ndani ya hizo kitabu kumaanisha zimeidhinishwa na wataalamu wa elimu we have a spectrum of authors which uh, we have been developing over the years from the time we began in 1947 to date 
and among the notable publishers that we have, one is Professor Ngugi Wathion, Professor Henry uh, Indangasi. We have many other authors. We have incentives for them. We look at their work. We guide them. We evaluate. Guide them all the way so that the work takes shape to address the needs of the targeted audience. I wrote my first book, I Will Be Back. So I took it to another publishing house, but they kind of rejected me. So I was depressed, I was sad for a, for a while. And then out of nowhere, a guardian angel came out and uh, told me that there's a, he has a lecturer who writes books for Kenya Literature Bureau and then I should like talk to him and he will guide me. So I, I was given the number, I talked to this guy and uh, he guided me and then he told me, you know what, just go to South Sea and then ask for the assistant publishing manager, he will guide you. The medium term plan three, vision 2030, government of Kenya guidelines on the current environment all impacted the development of the 2020-2024 strategic plan and the KLB management is ready to guide the bureau towards achieving not just financial growth, but also firmly setting the pace for other publishers and printers. I seek your support to ensure that we consolidate and build on the gains of the competency-based curriculum as we make it a world-class curriculum. By 2025, KELB envisioned itself as being the publisher and print of choice for government agencies and other clients, offering quality service within short timelines, and therefore steps taken to ensure everything is in place to actualize the strategic plan. We have a, a new vision, which was there before. And the new vision is um, adding knowledge and inspiring the community. Our mission, which is to provide printing and publishing solutions to our customers. Now those printing and publishing solutions have to be uh, of high value, high quality, relevant, and meeting the needs of the society. And so it, it means, one, as an institution, we have to ensure that we invest. Let's use technology, invest on others, invest on editors, and everything else in our culture, so that we continue churning out high quality books. We'll also rely on uh, ensuring that we modernize our printing press. We want to grow our performance culture. We want to ensure that uh, our employees have positive attitude so that they are the only ones who can actually help us drive this agenda that we want in the next five years to be somewhere. We are generating products that will form the basis for the revenue streams that we aspire to, to, to have in the strategic plan. We have a key pillar the financial sustainability pillar. And this financial sustainability pillar will be actualized through the products that we will be producing. So from grade uh, uh, six to senior six, we have a whole range of products that uh, publishing will be developing. And all these products are targeting our school market. KELB is investing in its capacity in order to do more, have a greater impact. Adequate mitigation measures will be put in place from time to time to ensure, in fact, that we continue to realign our implementation journey to the emerging scenarios. That way, therefore, then, we stand a better chance of continuing to achieve our targets. And where need arises, we'll then be able to renavigate. In the next uh, five years, I envision a KLB that uh, will be financially stable. We uh, anticipate that KLB will have grown and its uh, profit will give it uh, its financial sustainability. We also envision a KLB that will be operating efficiently and effectively. We also envision a KLB that will be technologically savvy especially with the modernization of the press, such that uh, it will uh, lead into a seamless uh, flow of processes that, of course, will also give it its uh, sustained growth. We also wish to have a KLB that will be able to be a leader in printing and publishing, because we are in that industry, and we will do so not only here in Kenya, but in the East African region and even beyond. We also expect 
even the staff as a whole to benefit once the growth has been sustained by creating opportunities for staff so that they can be able to utilize their skills to their optimal level for best results. Given that KLB does not operate in a vacuum, it has engaged stakeholders and other institutions in order to develop more impactful opportunities. KLB also do a lot in terms of um, forest cover. We partner with NEMA to ensure that, of course, we plant as many trees as possible. Uh, we've identified some sites where KLB uh, does its contribution in terms of uh, ensuring that, one, we uh, promote of the forest cover in this country as much as possible. We also continue to partner with so many NGOs. You know, there are NGOs in this country who support uh, communities, especially the learners in terms of uh, learning materials. We've also partnered with faith-based organizations, specifically the churches, starting with the Catholic-run schools. We've uh, partnered with them so that uh, rather than them buying books through bookshops, they deal directly with KLB. The Catholic Church has a great relationship with the KLB. But this relationship has been even made stronger uh, with the introduction of the school supplies of books. In view of what was begun by the government in supplying the books to schools. And we thought if we can also use the same platform to also get the books directly from the publishers, then we'll benefit a lot. In terms of students that come with uh, different challenges or that are enabled differently. There are those that are enabled differently in terms of speech or in terms of visuals. Um, let's talk about speech. We have the Kenya Institute of the Blind, which collaborates with KLB in the development of materials for such students. So the uh, materials that have been developed are shared with them free of charge, which they then convert into Braille and other, 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 other formats that can then be easily accessed by students who are challenged um, um, otherwise. We have entered into an agreement with the county governments, whereby we supply them with the books, particularly the PP books pre-primary, so all early education uh, books, uh, also plus uh, it's techno technological books and a TVET. The moment I became the governor of West Pokot, we even now decided to do an MOU, for which many things were written for us to pursue and for them to pursue. And uh, the first thing that they delivered was our books for our pre-primary, uh, education, which we have so many kids in school now, and uh, they never failed us. Another key stakeholder we do actually uh, uh, engage uh, from time to time is KICD. You know, KICD is the regulator uh, of publishers. As we look into the future, KLB is prepared to stamp its imprint deeper in the Kenyan psyche. So, in the next uh, few months, we'll be unfailing the latest of the heart technology. Actually, the most modern in this country will actually uh, unveil what we call web printing press. Um, and then we'll be also unveiling what we call book binding uh, machine. And that is going to increase our internal production capacity. I can say tenfold. Our promise remains always. At KLB, and in particular production department, we are determined to ensure you get your products at the right time, good quality and cheaper costs. The first aspect is uh, we, ha we have to see what social responsibility programs do we have in order to uh, improve the well-being of the Kenyan society. That is where we are talking about people. And the Kenyan society definitely also includes our employees. So that uh, we have programs like uh, even uh, scholarships where we, 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 we sponsor for a whole four years, any kid who attains a given max, based on our parameters, uh, a kid of staff who attains a given uh, max, we sponsor for four years. So that uh, at the end of the day, we are improving the society uh, well-being. We produce the product, 
that will meet your requirements and you will enjoy the service experience we shall be offering. KLB encourages writers out there as part of our mandate that if you have a manuscript and you looking for a publisher, we are available to look at your work, we guide you, we evaluate it, and we promise that you will not uh, uh, have the same manuscripts, whether it is uh, taken on board as a publishing uh, a project or we request that you uh, consider an alternative publisher if it does not fit in our list. Our promise to our customers, Kenya Literature Bureau, through its core value of being of creativity and innovation, will assure you at all times of innovative solutions to all your requirements. A new culture will develop within our organization, a culture that will encourage innovativeness and uh, creativity. Kenya Literature Bureau, publishing and printing for you.